Literally one of the best wedding dresses I've ever seen in my life. I did see a bag. The colour was sensational. Couldn't have been more me colour. What did you find? It's very special to us. We love coming here with Honoré. So little Jimmy Chua boxing. I got these for my holiday. That's what always happens. I always get like these amazing opportunities so we never end up going on holiday. So I love this. I just wish that it wasn't so cropped. Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, it's my sister's wedding. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging it, it's very private obviously, because it's you know, her wedding, not mine. Um, I'll show you the dress because it is literally one of the best wedding dresses I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing, it's a really hard wedding dress to pull off, it's sensational. Um, but I really wanted to um, casual. <laughs> this is the wedding videographer for the day, mm. all in black. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you the story, because you're heavy breathing. I wanted to tell you the story of this rocking horse. So when my sister brought me here to see the venue, it was a maybe, and I was walking along this corridor, and I had this, like you're gonna think I'm crazy, but hear me out. I had this just weird moment where, this sounds so dramatic, but like time stood still, and I just had like, you know, like a premonition, basically. You're gonna think I'm crazy, you're gonna think I'm mental, but I swear to you, this is the absolute truth. And I said to Stevie, this wedding venue is the one, because I've just had a vision. Bear in mind, this was a year before I even got pregnant. And um, I don't wanna get into it, but me and Paris, whenever we did like the ring thing, whether we talk about it, we always thought we was gonna have a girl first. I don't know why, we just, like and, and uh, people have told me before that women always think they're gonna have a girl first so it's quite normal blah, blah blah and i had a premonition of me standing here with not only a baby but it was clear as day that the baby was a boy and stevie said i said stevie the weirdest thing happened i just had a vision that i had a baby here and it I felt the emotion of like how like the love that I had for this baby and I knew the baby was mine it was honestly crazy I can't even find the words to explain it without thinking you think I'm more crazy but I swear this is what happened and she said was it a girl I said no it was a boy he had a little bow tie on and um my mum said how old was the baby and I said one I just think the baby was one and um, Honoré is one in a few days, so I, it just came true to me. She had, a, she's getting married here. I have a baby boy. That's one, crazy. So this is like really significant. But um, the venue is beautiful. Look at all this pink wood paneling. There are rooms through there. She's gonna walk down here. It's such a beautiful venue, and we're all in here getting ready. So um, just wanted to, to share that we're at the wedding. Um, it is during like the whole COVID rules, but actually because the venue is so large, they calculate it by how much you can social distance. So she's actually allowed slightly more than 30 because there's different rules for different venues, which is amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting my dress on in a second. I've got the most gorgeous pajamas on from the sleepover club. They're so amazing, like a champagne color. We all wore them to get ready. I'll link them below because they're really affordable prices. Um, independent brand and she does the best pajamas for hens and weddings and I actually have loads of them but just wanted to show you them. That's how I get a ready outfit. Stevie has a beautiful robe from, I'll put it here, from Amanda Barden, my favorite bridal robe brand. I wore it for both my weddings. Um, Whenever I have a friend get married, I get them one. I've got my mum one, but hers is the most sensational wedding robe if you're petite. I mean, I could wear that as well. It looks it looks great on everyone, it really does. But for petite frame, it's so beautiful. Like simple, hello Bambi. All the dogs are here. Bambi, 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 Bambi. Where's Tallulah? I can't stand the thought of losing you. Tell me, do you? Hi 
Hi everyone. So it's a. Uh, I'm meant to be helping him park. No, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you've got a camera. Yeah, you can go back more. He's not even listening to me. You can go back more. That's fine like that. Um, so it's Thursday. Um, I had the wedding. It was so amazing. With COVID, um, we were all a little bit worried that she wouldn't get her amazing day, but it was so beautiful. I've had a couple of pictures. Um, it was so amazing, but obviously it's private to her, so I won't keep this lens. Oh, what's going on? It's been a stressful week. Um, but it was so beautiful. You can check out her Instagram to see all of her um, amazing, beautiful pictures. She looked truly breathtaking, absolutely amazing. Right, the plan this week, it's been so crazy lots of hiccups with the house renovations which you know happens to everyone um try not to let, let it bother us but it has been so stressful like oh so much went wrong but the worktops went in the kitchen and it is one of the best kitchens i've ever seen in my life i've seen better rooms in terms of you know it's not the biggest kitchen and um you know i've seen much better setups but in terms of the actual kitchen it's the best design you know i'm just so happy with it it's so beautiful i cannot wait to show you it's probably going to be the next video um i might show a few things on instagram so check out clash chanel home and my normal instagram um it was all meant to be done for honore's birthday but sadly it won't be done which you know i kind of knew it wasn't going to be done it looks like it's raining on his birthday as well um and we can't be inside because the flooring's not done so we're just going to make the most of it but we do have his party which i think i will continue this vlog it's probably not going to be what i planned because of the rain but anyway today um we have an amazing meeting with a brand that paris loves in particular so we're very excited i'll show you a couple of glimpses not too much um, but i'll show you the brand then we're going to harris to check out the new elemis counter it looks so beautiful they sent us a really nice pr package one of the nicest packages i've had so we're really excited to go see that and i have an appointment consultation for my skin um so yeah that's what we're doing today so my outfit is um a nice baby blue blouse which you've seen in my hauls just quite casual summer but it is a bit not very summery are you ready where are we going oh, the map here. <laughs> Where is it then? What are you doing? Do I look more buff like that? Come this on. isn't really got a problem. <laughs> so we're getting ready for Honoré's party. And look, we've had this all week, but it's been raining. I haven't been able to show you. Aren't they the most adorable things for parties? I actually want to buy one. They're from Easy Grass. that do faux grass. We're just cleaning up from the party. These were a huge hit. I haven't shown you his G-Wagon before, but all the boys were playing on these because we've got so many boys in our family. I don't know what's going on in this vlog because 
I was meant to be taking my mum out to have all of her Botox done with Dr. Marwa. She was so excited and I've had to cancel because she's um, she had a little accident and she's really hurt her back, feel really bad for her. Um, so we had to cancel, so I don't know what's going to be happening with this vlog now. It's been very difficult because she normally helps us out with the baby um, a couple of days a week. Um, so, um, yeah, it's been very difficult getting everything ready. So, it's one of your boys with us today. Um, yes, I have my denim part of place so on again. I'll put the denim down. Yeah. Um... What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, so I'll tell you what we're doing today. It's our anniversary tomorrow, and we now are not going to London tomorrow. So, new plan of the vlog. I'm hoping I can delay this vlog ever so slightly. My makeup's just gone everywhere. Oh, come on! <laughs> so, I'm hoping I can still fit that in. However, today, I have an appointment at Hermes, so I'm going to take you with me. I think it's just to renew my wish list. I haven't seen them for so, so long. The last bag I got, um, Hermes was shut, so I had to um, get it delivered. And then the one before that was my Blue Broom, and Paris went and got that because Honoré was only a few days old. So I'm looking forward to seeing them and having a bit of a catch up. Then I'm going over to the Luxury Promise head office. It's their vault where they have all the most amazing bags. And I'm doing a live shopping and styling event with the founder. So obviously that will be been and gone. If you did like it, please leave it in the comments below if you watched it and if you'd like us to do it again. So I'm doing that after. And then it's our anniversary tomorrow, which got cancelled. So we're hoping to have a little visit at the Ritz. But the Ritz has had like some sort of pandemic, haven't they? Mm -hmm. And they're closed. Like all the restaurants are closed, except for the no, people that are all, staying there. All the staff has to self-isolate because of that ping rule. Pandemic, they call it. Um, so because it's our wedding anniversary and we go there every year and we got married there, I think they're gonna let us go to the restaurant. So that's what we're doing today. And I hope that I can still show you my mum's Botox if I delay this vlog, but um, really looking forward to doing the shopping event with Luxury Promise and really looking forward to going to um, Hermes. Honoré and I have got matching outfits on today, which you're going to see um, shortly after this. So that's the introduction to the vlog. Um, and I hope with everything cancelled and being changed, it uh, ends up being a fun vlog. So we're just pulling up to Hermes now. So after Hermes, I go to Luxury Promise um, do the live shopping event and then we will be popping into Harrods to Von Cleef because uh, we're picking up my anniversary present that Paris organised for me. <laughs> I was just yeah. testing to see if you were listening or not. Maybe so, I did in my sleep, I don't know. I do so much. So no Von Cleef anniversary present? No. You've got everything, huh? Is there anything in the shop you don't have? Give me some time, give me some time to get stronger I'll be okay, just give me a little bit longer Yeah, we're gonna win The struggle we're in It's never goodbye, it's never goodbye till it's over Come back to life Did you find? You got it. So he kept whispering. And that's Blue Broom. Oh, is that yours? Yeah. So we just come out of Hermes. Excuse all the uh, drilling. I have no idea where that's coming from. It was so nice to catch up with. Um... You're not going to be able to hear me. I'm like walking into the drilling. Okay, it's a little bit quieter now. Um, yeah, so so amazing to catch up with them in Hermes. I had such a nice little, um, well, what was in there for an hour? London. You were a good boy, weren't you, Wally? Look at that, who's that? Honey! Oh. So, Oni booby face. I don't like ever seeing too much, but, um, get a funny look, something on your booby face. Uh, but I did see a bag 
the colour was sensational. Couldn't have been more me colour. I was just a little bit worried because it was very similar to something I already own. So dingaling, he calls birds dingalings. Um, but we just had such a lovely time in there. Had a little champagne, dingalings. Um, so I am going to think about that bag for a couple of days. It's just that all my spare money goes on Hermes bags, like my fun me money, play money. Um, so it has to. I have to still like 100% love it. You obviously know they're so expensive, and I'm super lucky and appreciate that um, you know you hear all these rumors about feeling pressurized to buy things at Hermes and I do know a couple of people that have told me that they didn't buy a bag that they were offered and then never got anything again I've never experienced that so I'm really appreciative that I'm never under any under any under any pressure and I actually get really good advice from them so yeah I'm probably gonna dream about this bag and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and have another little look at it with the one that I think it's similar to um, now I'm going to get changed in the car. I'm going to see uh, the Luxury Promise girls and then we're going to have our Ritz dinner. Aren't we, Annie boy? In mummy's matching outfit, what do you think? Does that every time I say that, like, oh, I'm embarrassed, mama. So I've got changed. I've just got on my um, Fendi shirt that I showed you recently in a vlog. I did bring heels, but I'm in my leggings and Pradas. I'm in the Luxury Promise. Um, I'm picking out some bags to style. This is so amazing. I mean, I bet you I come away with something I always do when I come here. Last time I got two scarves, and this is where I got my hair bag from. It's so amazing. Sabrina, can people do one-on-one um, -on -one appointments here with you? They definitely can. I never knew that. You get one-to-one -one every day. <laughs> so, if you would like a one-to-one -one appointment, with uh, Miss Sabrina, I call her Miss Sabrina because mm -hmm. she's, she's the boss. Um, yeah, you can come here, it's a nice sofa area, uh, tea and coffee, I'm presuming. Yeah, they get. I don't know if I make a good cup of tea, but I can definitely try. There's a Chanel <laughs> water bottle on the side there. Is that for sale? No. Who's this? That? Jess's. Oh. You want it? Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sneak it in your bag. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so you can come here and you can do one on one appointments. It's very inspiring. There is literally everything that one girl or boy can dream of so, <laughs> Sorry, it's really your story. so we're just about to do the live we will be doing another one so um if any of you catched it would love to um see you on the next one i can't stop thinking about that bag i got um offered i was just telling sabrina about it i don't, I don't know what to do sabrina yeah i want to show you sabrina's outfit because oh, i styled no. her so she's very um you're quite boho aren't you really yeah she loves the blazer, she loves boho. Um, and today I feel like a little... I've dressed her like me, so like let's have a look. Tom, I like love Tom it. Girl. Okay, show me. So, she yeah. is wearing Frankie... Oh, it's all Frankie Shop. It's all Frankie Shop. So I actually love this blazer, it's like really fluid. I, I actually love it. blazer like completed it for me. Yeah. Because obviously you can do very casual. And like, this... If you're on a holiday, casual. And yeah. For work, I felt like this just made it a bit more yeah. corporate summer corporate so she's got the baby pink frankie shop outfit that i've got in brown but it's <laughs> you're actually doing a good job she's got it with her what are these called again ship praise ship praise uh, no, and she got them early so she actually has like a hundred pairs <laughs> um no but you've given it like your signature look we both feel like it's wearing our husband's boxes with these on but they're super comfy aren't I, they I feel free. yeah that's what she said to me she said claire i feel free um <laughs> It's quite lilac-y. We said that the outfit's like Mo Sylvester. Quite, yeah, Mo Sylvester. Which, yeah. I don't think we've got any. Yeah, it's really, really nice. So this is like something a bit different from Sabrina. I think she looks absolutely amazing. Thanks, babes. <laughs> <laughs> so should we start the live? Let's go. Oh, actually, let me just quickly show you. Here's a few of my bits that I'm selling. Um, it's too late now because the live's already been done, but we are giving away a set of coffee books. There's also a Baby Blue Prada one. So if you do tune into the lives that we do, these are the kind of giveaways that we do. But I have heard that Sabrina's given away something really major in the next one. So you Look should definitely this. join. How amazing is that? I saw that. This outfit. Yeah, I literally was going to say, you need to get that with your outfit. Would you get that? I'd love to. I really, really one like day. it. It's What's really, that? really is nice. That case now? Oh, Nere, are you blowing kisses? 
Paris just went shopping with uh, Honoré. I've popped on my Bottega shoes. I've got my laptop because I just have to do, I really have to do some emergency work. And we're going to one of our favourite places in London, the Ritz. For those of you that don't know, we've had our London wedding here. It's very special to us. We love coming here with Honoré. Came here for my birthday when he was like a couple of months old. Um, and they always really look after us. So we're looking forward to it. I wanted to wear these shoes. They are the most amazing gift from Jimmy Choo. Move this out of the way, that's like one of my prized possessions. So, little Jimmy Choo unboxing. I got these for my holiday. And then um, the Jimmy Choo girls kindly gifted me them. Oh, they're leather. Oh, they're so much nicer. I thought when I had a look at them online, they were um, suede. Oh, I much prefer them. Wowza. And I was a little bit worried about the size because I'm, I'm normally a 39 and a half. But these fit really, really well. I really want to wear them today, but it's raining. I was going to wear these or my Prada loafers. But you know what? I'm going to be in Harrods. I'm going to go for my meeting. It's not like I'm walking around and they are so comfortable. I'm so over the moon with these. They are so comfortable. Oh wow, so yeah, I'm going to wear this, quickly charge my phone, my battery, um, and then I'll show you the full look. Just super quick, um, before I go in, I just completely lost what I was doing. The Ivy is now open and there's an uh, Ivy Asia, which looks amazing. So I ended up wearing one of the jumpers that came this morning. I've got a new t-shirt on from uh, one of my favourite brands, Novu London. I'll link them because they're just the perfect tea. Oh, it's sunny now. It's gone torrential rain to some. Um, I've got some boyfriend jeans on. And these are the new Jimmy Choo shoes. And then I've got my baby Kelly. So I'm going to have a lovely lunch. I did a workout this morning and I've not eaten. So I'm going to really enjoy this. Um, and then I'll go meet the boys to enjoy it the rest of the day. Hi everyone, just to catch up for the day, it's so hot now. Um, met Honoré in Paris in the food market. We did a little Zara shop, like a little holiday shop, you know, that little whip round that you do just before you go on holiday. Um, yeah, no, I even want to pro pro postpone the holiday now because um, the meeting I had was with Rolls Royce, I think I told you. We had such a lovely lunch together, then we went for coffee and they're doing the most amazing event and photo shoot whilst we're away. And I was so tempted to like pro postpone the holiday or cancel the holidays that we can do it. That's what always happens. I always get like these amazing opportunities so we never end up going on holiday. But um, they said there's always another time. So hopefully we can do that another time. So we've got some really exciting things coming up with Rolls Royce. I'm gonna regret filming like this. I've probably got a double chin. We was in the queue at Zara and Honoré was in love with this lady behind us. He loves dark women. Like the darker the skin tone, the more in love he seems to be. He's always been like that. Um, yeah, and he was asking for her for a hug and it was a bit awkward. And she was like, look, if you don't mind, I don't mind. And they had a lovely cuddle in the queue. So sweet. Um, so they're just in front of me now. We are going to Harrods now. I just wanna have a quick look at some Bauman bits. Um, I think I'm going to get them, so I'm just going to show you them. Pick up a salad in the Harrods salad bar for dinner. Um, then we'll probably walk around Hyde Park. The weather is insane today, it's like rainy and then sunny. But I've just walked from King's Road. If you're ever at King's Road on a Saturday, check out the food market. It's really, just a really nice day out. Um, now I'm just walking to Harrods. These shoes have been amazing. I've literally been walking around all day long. They are so comfortable. So quickly show you the full outfit. This is the t-shirt I was telling you about. Baggy jeans with the shoes. I'm glad I wore these now because it's sunny. Um, love a bag like this for shopping. Should just throw it over. These are three things that I really want. So I'm going to link them below for you. They're just insane. 
you know I love baby blue. I'm going to try these on and then I'm going to pick one, possibly two, to buy. Cardigan number one. That's not mine, by the way. I just love it. Not really with baggy jeans. Well, it's nice for my holiday in the evening if I want to cut, um, cuddle. A bit warm for shoulder pads, but not too massive. I just love the colour. It's going to look really nice done up. This is new season, so I'll link it below. So I love this. I just wish that it wasn't so cropped because everything is amazing. I've got a really baggy t-shirt on and really baggy jeans and I think like, you're meant to do it done up. And there's a lot of stretch in it, so I do love this. Just not got it on with the best outfit, but then again, this is what I wear. It's better without something underneath. I'm going to try it with nothing on. Oh, I just feel like it's a bit tight for me. But I do love it. This is more me, like more oversized. It's a very clueless. I love it. So this is the other piece. I know it's a bit much, but I have the shorts and I live in them. I absolutely love them. And I just thought like holiday look on the bow, but I'm quite adamant that I don't buy things just for holiday. I want to be able to wear it here. I feel like it's a bit too logo-y, isn't it? I'm not wearing a very good accessible outfit. I don't know, I quite like it. I wish it wasn't cropped. I can't bear cropped things. Like if you've got like a six pack baggy jeans, amazing. But unfortunately, not me. What do you think? With the shorts, terrible lighting in here. What a lucky boy. Did she give you a big flower? Lucky boy. <gasps> Dropped it. Uh oh. <gasps> Dropped it. Mummy, pick it up for you. Dropped it again? Silly boy. <laughs> 